Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very hot and very sunny day at Universal Studios. In today's video, we're going to be heading on inside and checking out the all new Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. It just opened today and guys, we are exactly one week away from the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. I am beyond excited to get a little taste of what we can get at the event as far as merchandise and food. I'm very excited. Let's head on inside, guys. All I can say is my poor wallet is about to take a beating today. Oh lord, the abuse it is gonna take. So one thing that I have neglected to mention is that not only can you get merchandise in the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store, but at the Universal Studios store here in the park, you can also find a lot of Halloween Horror Nights merchandise as well. So you can see we have a brand new Halloween Horror Nights 30 Scare Zone shirt. Looks really cool. It's got all the Scare Zone, Seek and Destroy, Crypt TV, Gorewood Forest, Lights, Camera, Action, and 30 Years, 30 Fears. I love it. Also, guys, check out this all-new Universal Studio shirt. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's got Jack, Frank, and Chucky. Very weird combination, but I'm here for it. And it's got Halloween Horror Nights 2021 on the side, nothing on the back, and this shirt is $35. Wow. Oh, well, this is adorable. Look at this. That is so cute. I, I forget what these little figures are called, but that is awesome. We got Jack the Caretaker, Frank, Chance, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Chucky. They also have a brand new Frankenstein shirt as well. I think this was here the last week that I was here, but I just never noticed it. But I really like this shirt too. There's so much good merchandise, and look, they have the Frankenstein merchandise here as well. Of course, along with everything else, we got some new pins and keychains. Take a look at this 30 Years 30 Fear shirt with Jack. I love this artwork. Oh my gosh, and it's got Chance down at the bottom too. And of course, in that design that we saw earlier on the t-shirts, they have it in a mask form as well. The saddest news of the day is that this shirt in particular, this is the one that I like the most, and it only goes up to an XL. Ah, uh, F, that sucks. Um, excuse me? What in the world is this for? It looks like it could be the setup for a carnival game. I know historically for Halloween Horror Nights we had carnival games lining up this area of the street, but uh, that's 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 new. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have found the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store, and at first glance it looks like we should be getting in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, but uh, no, definitely, definitely not. Uh, we have a lengthy line to wait in. Oh no. So you guys can see the tribute store is open for APs only right now and it is quite a lengthy line. They are definitely limiting the capacity inside the store, limiting how many people can go in and yikes. They are estimating well over an hour wait right now. So uh, I don't know, we might come back a little bit later, but then again, the trade off is some of the items selling out before we can actually get a hold of it. I don't know guys, we'll see. So over here we have the lengthy line to get inside the tribute store, but they are also selling these awesome new freestyle mugs for the event. Take a look at that, Halloween Horror Nights, 30 years, 30 fears. It is a freestyle mug and they are activating it today. This may end up being one of your giveaway items for this video. Hey uh, Jack. You down there, buddy? You down there? Hello? Jack? Alright, so since the line is really long for the tribute store, let's go ahead and head on inside the annual pass holder lounge because I hear they have some exclusive AP merch in here. And take a look guys, here is our annual pass holder exclusive Halloween Horror Night shirt. You got Frankenstein and on the back, let's see, take a look at this. Now this has been confusing a lot of people online because they just have a mix of Halloween Horror Night houses from years past, not necessarily this year or last year even like 25 years monsters of mayhem that was five years ago well now six years ago we got scary tales from years past dead exposure slaughter cinema hr blood and guts i think that was from 21 or 22. we got body collectors like these this is just a mix of houses from the past and it's very weird how they're throwing chucky on a lot of things as well and uh, we got Chance over here as well, looking gorgeous as always. They also have some brand new Halloween Horror Nights pins in here as well. Hold up, wait a minute. I got in line and I looked over and I saw this. This is an annual pass holder backpack, like a sling. 
hold on. This is what, oh my god, that's $32, wow. But still, oh, I love it. Oh yeah, baby, we are for sure going to be hitting this booth quite a bit. The Twisted Taters, the Halloween Horror Nights tradition. Oh man, some of these props are already getting rusted. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. And take a look at this, guys. One of the Halloween Horror Nights food trucks is open. Let's go ahead and get some food. All right, so uh, the chicken truck is out of chicken. So uh, they said to come back in about 15, 20 minutes or so. We'll go ahead and wait, no big deal. Or instead of waiting, we could just go ahead and get food from another Halloween Horror Nights food truck. All right, guys, so while we wait for the chicken, we decided to get an arepa. This is the carnitas arepa. It looks and smells delicious. Took a little while for it to get out. It looks like they prepared it to order right then and there. It looks really good, smells really good, so I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get a bite of this arepa. Oh, oh my God, that is really good. Holy cow, that is good. All right, so I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a professional food critic and pick out individual flavors that I really like. It's just good. It's just really good. You can't go wrong with the arepas. I got the carnitas one, so definitely get that one if you are into it and you like pulled pork. Oh my God, Mwah. incredible. Also guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to Matt from Cincinnati. I was standing in line to get my arepa at the food truck and he was wearing some old school TPX merch. I'll put the picture in over here. I had to get a picture with him. He is the first person I've ever seen with my own eyes rocking some TPX merch in the park. That is amazing. That was a very surreal experience. So huge shout out to you guys. You guys said that you were longtime subscribers and I'm very happy to hear that you guys were having a fantastic vacation. Thank you so much for purchasing a shirt and for supporting the channel if you guys want to get your own TPX merch link down in the description below okay so I finally ordered some chicken however uh, taking a little while I've been standing here for almost like what close to 10 minutes now so yeah they definitely make these to order might just be a little too long all right just over 15 minutes later we got our barbecue chicken sandwich it's actually a pretty decent portion too like this is my hand compared to the to the thing. It's pretty big. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> I am just ridiculously confused as to how one is supposed to go about eating this massive sandwich that is overflowing with food, with chicken. Like, it's falling apart. <laughs> oh no, but let's try and get a bite of the whole thing. I just got another bite of chicken. Let's try and get some with the bread. And 10 out of 10 delicious. My hands are a mess though. It's actually pretty tasty. I'm very surprised, it's actually really tasty. The coleslaw isn't bad either, I'm very surprised. So this sandwich was actually $14, and for the size that it is, and for the price that you pay, it's not bad. For $14, I would totally get that again. That was very filling, I am full. We're about two hours from park close. It's just after five o'clock right now. The park closed at seven. Let's see if we can go ahead and wait in line for the tribute store. All right, it is 5.22 right now. Let's see what time we get in. Look at that, all good things to those who wait. It is 5.30 right now and we are heading on in. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Less than 10 minutes, unbelievable, when earlier today it was upwards of an hour. Oh, they widened the entrance, yay. Oh sweet Jesus, I already see another shirt that I want. Look at this, with Jack, Bride of Frankenstein, Leatherface, and the Bent Neck Lady. Oh, I want it. All hail HHN Bear. This is just the first room, and you can already tell that Universal knocked it out of the park with this tribute store, as they do with every tribute store. It is amazing. Also, another thing that I want to point out is that they have made the entrances to the different rooms much wider. Thank you, Universal. Thank you. But coming on into the second room over here, this room looks like a giant homage to some of the most popular icons. The first thing you see, Jack the Clown up on the wall over here. You have the storyteller. Next up, we have the usher and his bust over here. Right next door, the director. One of my personal favorites, Chance. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. This is the lantern from Halloween Horror Nights 20. The Fear Lantern. Look at that, we got Cindy over here. This is the different totems that Fear had on his belt with all the different icons. Oh my gosh, who remembers Winter's Night? That was a fantastic haunted house. I want them to do something like that again. It was so cold in there. Oh man, 
That was awesome. Uh, take a look at that. We have the Terra Queen's dagger in her motorcycle. Ooh, can't wait to see that this year, hopefully. Oh, well this is an easy detail to miss. We have a picture of a body collector over here. And this is the second to last room of the tribute store. And with it, I think we found the checkout line. <laughs> There's a lot of people standing in a line that's going up and around the corner. I'm sure they have a few other machines throughout the store that I miss, but they have a jack-o'-lantern forbidden chocolate machine over here in case you're into that stuff, $6. And it looks like for the very last room where the sweets are, we're going into a barn. Ooh, take a look at this. It's a prison car for Shady Brook, home for the criminally insane. Ooh, I love Shady Brook stuff. And take a look at this. This is where we're gonna find all of our snacks. And over here, this is the good stuff. Okay. Um, can I just do the Halloween Horror Nights? The, the, the logo spot? And I think I'm gonna do something else. <laughs> the worst part is it's more. And here's a look at the menu for you guys in case you are curious about buying anything in the future when you come. And returning from last year, they have the Beating Heart Dummies. We didn't particularly care too much for those. And new for this year, they have Brains. Oh no, the prisoner transport for Shady Brook crashed in Cary. And that township of Cary sign is actually a prop from the scare zone that we had a few years ago that was called Twisted Traditions. So wow, that's unfortunate. All right, definitely giving Universal credit where credit is due. That tribute store is amazing. They get better and better year after year. And I got myself some merch. Came out to $50 and change. So not too terrible at all. I can't wait to go home and try some of these sweets. Oh, this is actually a rare sight. No strollers to be seen in front of the Halloween Horror Nights photo op. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it from us here at Universal Studios. We are exactly one week away from the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights, and I cannot be more excited. That was a really awesome visit to the tribute store. I'm so happy that I waited until later in the afternoon to go inside. That way, I didn't have to wait in an hour plus line. It did take me a little while, however, to check out, but either way, I'm not complaining too much. It was still a really, really fun time. We did buy a lot of merchandise today, and I do have some giveaway items for you, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and stay tuned for our next Halloween Horror Nights video where we address your concerns for this year's event. We'll be announcing the giveaway over there in that video and you can get your hands on some sweet Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. Thank you guys again so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that you saw today down in the comment section below. If you liked what you saw in today's video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. Huge shout out once again to our Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this kind of content would not be possible. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.